bodybuilder in thailand.com wanted to make a quick video on TRT testosterone replacement therapy for uh, young guys uh, surprisingly a lot of, ma of uh, guys have asked me about it so there's a few things that I have to say about that and um, I mean I do think that having stable and high testosterone levels is good especially uh, for guys nowadays because there's a uh, a lot of environmental toxins and a lot of things in the food that you eat that um, the deodorant and the soap you use <laughs> that uh, you know screw up your testosterone so um, pretty much most of us have low testosterone compared to our ancestors um, and I, I do think that you know it's a better life to have a, a high normal testosterone uh, however I do think that using exogenous hormones, so hormones that come from the outside, is a major hassle. Um, it's a major hassle and I wouldn't really want it unless I really needed it or unless, uh, you know, it was something that was really important to me, you know. Um, so for me, yeah, it's really important to me. That's why I do it. I'm willing to uh, put up with the hassle, but it's not like I just, you know, take my weekly, uh, you know, if, you know, if I'm cruising, if I'm doing TRT, you know, it's not like I just take the weekly shot of testosterone and that's it. Um, you know, there's so many uh, facets of life that it influences. Uh, for one, I mean, uh, you guys should watch my steroids and sex drive video because uh, that talks about uh, what sex drive is like on steroids and, and how um, it goes up and down so much. Um, not just up, it goes down too. Um, and having balanced hormone levels is uh, absolutely essential to maintaining a steady libido, which uh, is, is difficult to do, and, and not a lot of people are doing that. Um, so there's that. There's that, and then there's the fact that um, you know you got to take a AI, you know, an anti-estrogen. Um, there's HCG, you know, if you don't want to have small balls. <laughs> um, and, and you know, you also should take HCG every once in a while, you know, at least just to you know wake them up and wake up your reproductive system. You know, if fertility matters to you, um, I do. Uh, so there's there's that, and. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't really see it as being something that's just like a, an easy, just do it, man, just do it. I know a lot of people that use testosterone and, and use gear will talk like that, especially people who are open about it, will talk like that. Um, you know, just like, yeah, yeah, it's good, it's great, it's great, it's great. Well, there are positives and negatives to it, um, that there's parts of my life that it influences negatively and there's parts of my life that it influences positively and um, it's the overall um, net effect I consider for me to be positive and I consider it to be worth it but I don't think everyone would be like that it's kind of like it's kind of like a lot of responsibility I mean imagine if you're on TRT for the next um, three years and it's like every week during those three years you're giving yourself or you're going to the doctor and, and getting a shot, right? And uh, then during those three years, you've also are uh, sporadically, you know, maybe six months out of the year taking HCG and you're taking two subcutaneous injections per week. And then at the same time, you're also taking your AI. So you're taking your Arimidex, um, you know, maybe you're taking a quarter milligram every day or something like that. Um, so you got to wake up and be doing that every day. Um, and then having those, uh, you know, changed hormone levels like that, it doesn't only affect, you know, just the sex hormones. I mean, being on, um, exogenous testosterone also affects your thyroid output. Um, it affects, uh, neurochemicals. There's a lot of things. It's just not, uh. It's a responsibility. I feel like it is. I feel like it is. It's a. It's just something that. 
unless you're okay with it, it would be an annoyance unless you it's something you really want to do it would be an annoyance and you'd probably start complaining a lot after a while <laughs> uh but yeah i mean that's that's what i think about trt especially for a young guy um with older guys uh they if they're really lacking testosterone you know they've actually got low testosterone not just like mid levels or like the lower side of mid levels but they've actually got low testosterone you know like yeah the benefits totally outweigh the nuisance the annoyance um any any side effects that they may have which probably are you know not many um but yeah i, I mean if a person has legitimate low testosterone then yeah absolutely 100 percent. i do think that the uh the benefits would outweigh the uh negatives even if that person you know was a computer engineer or something, <laughs> or something like that right um so but for a younger guy you're talking like if you don't actually have low testosterone you just like have middle testosterone personally i would do trt it's important to me to live a high testosterone lifestyle um and have like those natural uh that natural te it's not natural testosterone but it's natural testosterone that we men are supposed to have and uh it gets screwed up by our environmental pollutants and everything um and the you know women take birth control pills you just, you know that uh estrogen in the hypothalamic pituitary testicular axis that's the thing that your hypothalamus and your pituitary gland and your testicles all have a feedback mechanism that it's a loop and um, when estrogen is thrown into that loop it halts testosterone production and uh, you know women take birth control pills all over the world uh, hundreds and thousands millions over a billion women on birth controls and uh, those are estrogen and progesterone, which are direct antagonists of testosterone. Uh, they will ruin, if you come into contact with those, it will ruin your body's production of testosterone. Well, you know, how are sex hormones uh, excreted? Well, they're excreted in the urine primarily, you know, about 98%. All right, so the women, you know, a billion women or whatever, you know, seventh of the world's population is... Uh, you know, consistently urinating and these female hormones are going into the water. I mean, you know, it goes to the sewer and then, you know, where does it all go? It all goes to the ocean eventually and then it all, you know, comes back. So, and most of it's filtered, uh, but, you know, not all of it. So th there's a lot of pollutants and that's just one example, right? I'm not saying that that's you know the reason or something it's just, it's just a th it's something that is uh something to be aware of and it's something that does you know affect men the world over is testosterone um yeah so for me it depends it really what i think is that it depends on how important it is to you you know uh and, and it's also something you could just try out you could go to your doctor and uh or you could go to a hormone replacement clinic or an anti-aging clinic because those are the places that uh, it's more, you know, they have doctors that are more receptive to this kind of uh, lifestyle. Um, you could try it out for a few months and see what you think or try it out for a year and see what you think because, uh, you know, that's saying that that is going to destroy your fertility or that you're going to have to be on TRT for life after that is the same as saying a girl that has been on birth control for one year, her fertility is destroyed and she's going to have to be on birth control for life like that is just bullshit okay and and that why, why i'm saying that why i'm paralleling that is because i'm just uh helping you guys realize that birth control is hormone replacement therapy for women they're taking estrogen and progesterone those are their two principal sex hormones and what it does is it makes them not fertile the same way that taking our principal sex hormone testosterone makes us not fertile all right uh yeah i think i think that pretty much sums it up so it depends on how it's important for you on port, how important having a high test is for you in my opinion if you're just a normal guy who has normal testosterone levels they're not low at all then it's uh you know not necessary but 
if you're a bodybuilder, that probably changes because you want optimized testosterone levels. Or if you know you're really into fitness and athletics, or you know there's other reasons too, not just not just fitness and athletics, bodybuilding, etc. There's other reasons that you could want optimized high testosterone levels. Um, and going to if you're on the fence about it, if you're really concerned about it, uh, going to a HRT or anti-aging clinic, and um, you know trying it out for six months to a year could be a great option in my opinion. Um, to see if you like it or not. So, but if you if you really have low testosterone, uh, you know, low normal or uh, low, it's probably from what I've experienced. I never had low testosterone, right? Normal, uh, but from what I've experienced um, and just from knowing people, um, you know, who also use. Uh, hormones I would say that it's it, it's a good idea it's a good idea it's at least a good idea to look into it and a hormone replacement therapy clinic or a anti-aging clinic again are the places where that's most likely to happen if you're a, a young guy all right this is Dan from bodybuilder in Thailand.com